Kyra and I am back with a video. As y'all can tell by this title, today I'm about to be showing y'all how I get my press on to last at least three weeks, y'all. Now, this is what they look like. I got some little press ons off Amazon and we're about to put them on. Make sure all my nails going to fit for both hands. Get that part out the way because, baby, ain't nobody got time to be trying to do it while I'm, you know, doing my nails or whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying? So, I'm about to line these up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get your numbers all matched up, y'all, you're going to sit the other ones to the side, like the extra ones, and we're going to only work with these. Okay, y'all, so now a lot of people think that it's the prep that keeps your nails to uh, last and long, but to me, I do. It's kind of true, but to me, that don't really matter. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really, like, do nothing special. I don't do, like, the method that you're supposed to do. I really just put them on. This right here... This is the secret weapon, y'all. As y'all can see, I done had this so long that it's, it's, it's busted out. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so y'all can see the exact brand, but it's called Fast Bond, y'all. This glue, this the best glue in the world, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Now, don't go tell TikTok, cause TikTok, they got a glue that they be using. You can use that glue too, that lasts long, but that's always sold out. This is why I'm telling y'all, don't go tell TikTok about this glue. Some stuff is better than gatekeeper. want to do your dominant hand first because what you don't want to happen is you be trying to do your dominant hand with nails i mean yeah you're trying to do your dominant hand with nails on y'all get what i'm saying most people naturally gonna start off with their dominant hand you shouldn't do that you start off with your weaker hand because if you're trying to do your dominant hand with nails on it's just a little bit harder because you got nails on the first thing you're going to do is flip all of your nails this way y'all like turn them Turn them, turn them upside down. That way, you can apply the glue to the nail. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then we're gonna foul our nails. So you're just gonna foul your nails real good like this. Okay, you're gonna do each nail. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna speed it up. So I just wanted to show y'all how I do the first one though. So I just push this part back. That way, I don't know. It just make the nail look better when you do it like this. And then I file it to make sure it's no, you know, excess glue from my last set or just any, what is it called? I want it to be a level surface. You hear what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing, y'all. And I'm going to do this to the rest of my nails, but I'm going to speed it up. That way we can get through this video. Okay, y'all, once you got all that done, this is how you get your nails to be right, to be the air bubble free, all that good stuff, right? So, I'm going to start off with my thumb, right? You're going to put a drop of glue on side, inside the nail part, okay? Boom. You're also going to put a, a, a fair share of glue on your real nail. This is how you avoid air bubbles too, y'all. When you apply it, y'all, do not squeeze your nail. Let me show you. You want to push it down, right? Boom. But do not squeeze your nail. And you can also try to line it. This your time to make sure your nail ain't cricket too, y'all. So you let it go. You see mine a little cricket. And you want to um, align it so it's not cricket. And then just press it down. Do not squeeze your hand. That creates air bubbles. So I feel like you, you want to do this like and squeeze it, but don't do that. Just push it down. And that's how you get all the air bubbles out. This way you won't have any air bubbles. So boom. 
and then you just hold it for a few minutes um a few, not a few minutes a few seconds y'all and then it, it should dry real it dry real fast y'all ain't gotta hold it too long but you just want to hold it down just to make sure the glue catches real good and then it's a little glue up there as y'all can see i like to take a wet wipe y'all do not take a regular paper towel it's gonna stick i like to take a wet wipe and just wipe it when i'm done so i'm gonna just keep holding this for a few more seconds and then when i let it go i'm gonna wipe the excess glue off let me try to get closer i know i got nubs y'all i'm a little insecure about this but i still did the video for y'all even though i'm insecure about it don't say nothing in the comments i'm gonna delete your comments so just going on anyway we gonna uh oh that's that yeah we gonna put the drop of glue again boom i'm trying to make sure it's really in front of the camera for y'all because i really want y'all to be able to see put some glue right here a fair share remember and we're gonna do the same thing we did with the thumb Remember to let it go a little, oh shoot, remember to let it go for a little minute to see, make sure it's not crooked. Push it back down. I am not pressing this part, the, the bottom, I'm not pressing this right here, y'all. I'm telling y'all, do not do that. Not only it's going to make your hands hurt, but it's going to create air bubbles. So just press it down from the top. Hold it down for a little minute. Wipe the excess glue with the wipe. We're going to repeat with the rest of them. And I'm going to be back. I'm going to speed this part up as well. And I'm going to be back. Okay, y'all, so now that we done, this is also a very important part, y'all. I'm They came out so cute. I'm excited, period, pool. But the last thing you need to know is, y'all, don't wet your hands for, for, like, at least two hours. So if you got to do dishes or use the bathroom, cook, anything like that, do that beforehand because you want to let your the glue completely dry for at least two hours, one or two hours. If you can, you don't necessarily have to. Your nails will still last, but it's just better, you know, make them last a little bit longer if you wait about an hour or two before you get your hands wet. So that's just another tip, y'all. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and comment if you got any questions or if y'all want any more tips. Also, subscribe if you like me and you want to subscribe to my channel, y'all. But that was the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.